welcome to the show. We are here today on Forza Horizon 5, kind of revisiting a bit of a challenge we did a couple of months ago now, I think it was, although with a twist. So I saw this one in the comment section of the last video. We are going to be racing a car front-wheel drive, then rear-wheel drive, then all-wheel drive. We're going to use the same car throughout. The cars have been randomly drawn for all of us to build. I've actually, I'm quite happy with my choice. I've got the Cooper Works GP Mini, the 2012 one. I like this car. Very, very fast car. Uh, very good fun car to drive as well. Um, anyway, this time though, the catch is, the twist is, if you like, we are not going to be changing the build at all when we change the driveline. Now, last time, we kept the PI as top of A-Class for each one. So when you made all-wheel drive, you had to adjust the build to stick it at the top of A-Class. But this time, though, that's not happening. So whatever you have with your car as you start as a front-wheel drive in A-Class, you will carry on throughout, which means PIs may well change, and which is kind of uh, curious... Um, as to what might what might happen and what might be different when we run it like this. Uh, I'm expecting this to be half decent. Uh, I'm on semi-slick tyres, I have just shy of 400 horsepower and I weigh about 2,300 pounds. So it's, it's it's a pretty good power to weight ratio going on with, uh, with this one. Uh, there are some very silly cars in here that will be very slow or might be difficult to drive. The Renault 4 is one to not look out for in front-wheel drive spec. It's going to be undrivable, I suspect. But it's got a huge amount of power, and as all-wheel drive, it'll be an absolute rocket ship. Um, we are a little understeery, although that is, I guess, to be expected uh, in, in all of this. Uh, as we barrel our way, we lead the way down. Bloody hell, that Escort is quick. Uh, oh, that's some understeer right there for me. Don't lock the brakes up. We have a little moment of brake locking. Where is that Escort? Oh, God. I do not have the front end. I do not have the front end grip of that. And that's on the Hot Wheels semi-slick, so I can see the red stripe on it. So that has got as much grip as me. That's alarming. That's got more straight line speed than me. And out corners me. Hmm. That's quite bloody fast. Uh, I think I think I should have gone aero on this. Just looking at the cars around me going quickly, I thought I could be a bit sneaky and get away without having aero on this. And I'm going to go with a no. I'm going to go with a no on that one, especially not against the Escort if that has got... Oh, I have not got the grip for that. I've not got the grip for the Clio either. That thing can come soaring past. We're going to have a Scirocco having a look to the outside. I can't defend from that one either. Oh, yet I think I have made a poor decision um, with this. I think <laughs> bad decisions have been made a little bit. I actually don't think it's going to... The front-wheel drive was the one that I thought the Mini was going to be most competitive at. And, uh, yeah, this is an alarming, alarming chain of events, so to speak. Um... Yeah, other other new cars we've got in the cloud of tyre smoke behind us. You will see an MG. Uh, that is the MG Touring car uh, we didn't, of course, have before. Now that you can, so it starts off. It starts off top of A class, but it starts off on slick tyres, uh, which means when you change the tyres to something else, I believe that one's running rally tyres. Uh, you actually get some PI to play around with, which is interesting. Um, it's likely because it's got lots of downforce. It's likely to be stupidly fast in the corners, even with rally tyres, and probably very slow down the straights, and I'm struggling to keep up with these cars. Here, oh, Rusky has found the wall with the Escort. Uh, we will get past it. Did look like it was lagging, which is probably not helping matters. It's a battle for the lead of the race between the Scirocco and the Clio. I have to lift down there, because we're just understeering towards the wall, and again, I can't hold it flat all the way through there. Uh, I'm half expecting the Escort to have a dive to the inside. It might be waiting for this next corner uh, to have a go. Can't quite do it uh, around the long way there. In fact, the more we fight, the more the MG and that... I oh, was you and driving Salika, I think, are going to uh, catch and get involved with this. Scirocco is to the lead of the race. I have to just be... I have to be so patient through here. That's what's kind of costing me a little bit is just the huge amount of understeer uh, through that section. And again, like I, mm, they should be flat, well, ideally. A lot of A-class cars would be flat through there. This one is just not that A-class car. 
There's a lot of a lot of wheel spin going on from the escort behind us here. Uh, there's some lag involved with that. Oh, you can dive to the out. I wasn't expecting a move around the outside there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> fully expecting that to have a. I was fully expecting to have a dive up the inside to the point where I kind of wasn't really defending the inside because I know how much more speed that thing's got. But uh, tried the spectacular and in the end just couldn't quite get it stopped. We're struggling still massively with understeer through all of this. Uh, section we are again going to understeer through the next part um oh little bit a little bit of lag not helping the uh the ford behind us uh i know uh, it's not going to be close enough we know we're going to be vulnerable we know it's generally vulnerable from that ford it's got a lot of speed in quarters and it can match us down the straights um i think we're, we're probably one of the quicker cars in a straight line when we can actually get going and it's the getting going part that's the real problem for me here comes that escort it's going to have a look turn one is difficult to pass turn one is difficult for me in general as we understeer ourselves quite wide um we have got through there nicely the mg is catching at the moment this time we kind of park it in the middle of the road discourage the escort from having a look i'll leave it in fourth that might work the mg and Salika battle is raging behind and he's catching we've just lost touch of the leaders and that's not really from defending i've not really had to do that much up until now it's just i don't have their pace we kind of le lived with them briefly but they've got too much speed around here uh this, these high speed sections are just killing the car just don't have the cornering grip the mg is busy having a fight with a toyota uh, it's whether the escort has got one more lap to try and find a way past he's got a good run up the hill uh, we will go defensive and I've just got to try and not understeer myself into a wall and there he has got underneath it's the I think the escort's very fast but it struggles when it's got to be at a slightly compromised line that seems to be its downfall here it seems to be an absolute handful when it's got a compromised line but it might get it done through turn one uh, I'm hoping it will be slow on the exit with a bump on the wall it uh, gets it it gets the move completed we are not, I mean, we're not trying to, so I'm not trying to fire around the outside here, because I don't actually genuinely think I can do it. I'm very surprised we've had the grip to make that one hold for as long as we did, but the Escort has the acceleration to get back past us, and we will, I, unless, I, I don't think I have a way I can really fire back unless the Escort runs wide somewhere, uh, which, I mean, is possible. But it's not looking likely. And it looks like it does our accelerator, so I've got to be so careful with the throttle. The MG closes massively through that corner. And I'm going to... Yep. <laughs> it closes massively through there. We vanish up the hill. And then it will probably close massively through this final sequence of corners. Uh, yeah, we do not... Oh! And that... That looked like it got the checkpoint to me. The flag moved, right? I don't quite know how that has happened. <laughs> could have sworn. I could have sworn the flag moved as it went through there. But there we go. Uh, we do not have the pace. I mean, we're not completely awful, not like the Renault 4. Uh, <laughs> but we definitely are, are clinging on for dear life. We can't match the top two. The Escort it was probably faster than that over a lap, I think. It, it, lap time must be a bit of a mess somewhere because it was clearly better than we were uh, but uh, yeah it's not a great start the goes on rally tyres as well and that thing's shifting I yeah I think I may have made a mistake um, with my car but we'll have to try and live with it so we head to the rear wheel drive section next PIs have increased for everybody, actually. So all of these cars were, with the exception of the Renault, were all top A class. Converted to rear-wheel drive, they are now all a mix of S1 class. Uh, the Renault is the highest, although, honestly, the controllability of that is a big question. The CRX controllability is also a big question. Uh, the rest of us are around about the same, sort of lowish S1, uh, around the 820 PI mark. I'm, uh, I am minorly concerned about this one in that we weren't very good as a front we weren't as good as a front wheel drive as I thought we were gonna be. And I was more concerned with this car as a rear wheel drive. Oh yes, okay, we're a bit lively. I'd say we're a lot lively. I mean we might be quite fast. 
Right. The arch circuit here is maybe a little better suited to the Mini. Uh, there has been a few issues with getting the car stopped into the first big braking zone. The Escort looks very wibbly and scary. The MG's found a wall of sliding cars in front of it. Oh god, I'm all over the place with this. Yet yeah, very wibbly is the best way to describe this car. The Renault 4 is having a terrible time by the looks of it. The CRX is also having some problems. Hello, Corrado. I'm, I'm, okay, I am barely in control of this a lot of the way here. I shudder to think what that Renault... I mean, the Renault 4 is going to be an absolute rocket ship the second it gets going. Uh, it, will, it will have more power and way less weight than the rest of us, but it has got to navigate a corner. Uh, we have navigated a corner, and now we are going to go... Oh, the Renault's having an accident in a straight line. That tells you what you need to know about it. Uh, we have navigated a corner, we're catching on the MG, and then we're going to lose out on the MG. Oh, the Escort's got settled a little bit, and I'm going to have nowhere to go. The MG will be able to break way later than we can and turn. Uh, we are about to get past, maybe by the crowd, it depends on its acceleration off of the corner. Oh, I can't go to the inside there. The MG is going to make a move on the CRX, and this is going to help me out, actually. Uh, if I can sneak past... Oh, CRX got a little bit street furnitured uh, on that one. Oh, God. Come on. Come on, Mini. Come on, Mini. Use that power. Weirdly, it actually feels a little bit better as a rear-wheel drive, certainly in terms of competitiveness. Uh, Impega has run away at the front with the Scirocco. In fact, that thing looks like it's gone. Oh, that's a big angry gaggle of cars. I want no part of that, please. Uh, I would like to be well away from that when it catches... Well, hopefully it doesn't catch. Yep, Blakey, the Team Orange rear gunner, please. Because <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to hold off some cars in this. I, I'm still quite scared of this car. It's quite twitchy, to say the least. We've got a lot of straight line speed here. Oh, we're to the outside. That was too brave under brakes. Didn't really need that. Shouldn't really have done that. If I'm being perfectly honest, we would have been better off. I, admittedly, I wasn't really going for an overtake around the outside of the MG. I just got a bit carried away under brakes, not fully knowing where I needed to get on the brakes. And we ended up visiting the outside wall. The Celica is doing well up in third. It's actually putting pressure on the Renault. I mean, the Renault's got so much straight line speed, but it's just so difficult to use it, essentially. The Escort thought about trying to get past to the inside and missed out. The Corrado's... Oh, having a bit of handling issues around there. Am I faster than the Volkswagen down? the Clio, we did think the Clio would be an absolute handful as a rear-wheel drive, and it does look like it is proving to be that. Corrado looks much better balanced as a rear-wheel drive. Uh, we are going to, I mean, maybe fend off from the Escort into turn number one. Oh, the Escort's going to brave it the long way round. Uh, <laughs> I mean... Oh, it is, that's not a corner you want to be on the outside of what is a very difficult to drive car. I'm not intentionally going to put you out wide, but this is not easy to drive. I, if I run out of grip, I will slide into you. Uh, so, yeah, I would maybe have gone for a cutback against the Mini, for example, which is what the Alt Ford tried to do. It then lost the back end uh, by the looks of it. The MG has caught up to the Celica. The Celica's had a bad lap. I've had an issue with a curb. And we are having a bit of, again, wobbly moment. Uh, this is... yeah. For a car that I very much like, this is not quite working out for me. The Escort is there again having a look, but you... You, can't, I mean, you can pass at the final corner here, but it's very difficult to pass at the final corner. Uh, oh, and the Escort, I think, may have missed a checkpoint. Possibly. Um, we need a lift through there. Actually, we need a bigger lift than that. On the way in, we're going to get airborne. The uh, Integra is going to get past. Yeah, we just haven't got the control in this. Oh, got a lot of mid-quarter speed there that I didn't expect. The Integra is still going to get us. Uh, well, yeah, because my car just broke, snapped sideways. I, mean, I guess there's a chance this is going to be monumentally fast as an all-wheel drive. Some of the wacky handling characteristics are going to be gone, but I don't think enough. I think we're just going to be a little death trap in a different way. We're still having issues. I think I preferred it as a front-wheel drive, to be honest. At least it was consistent. This is not consistent at all. The Integra is going to be to the inside. I mean, my best bet, try and cut underneath and go for... Nope, that's not going to work. The Integra has got some straight-line speed, that's for sure. 
yeah, we are not going to catch that one. The Clio is also struggling massively. Um, but that thing does have aero. We are going to have a bigger lift. This time it's the Integra that goes for the jump on there to the Joker lap. That's what we're going to claim. I mean, it's a, been a great battle up there for third. Uh, none of us have really... No, no one's even got remotely close to the Scirocco. And the Renault has left the rest of us for dead. Uh, as, well... I mean, it, it's not looked easy to drive at any time around here, but it has been very quick when it's worked. Oh, behave, Mini. That is not what we need at all. Yeah. I am severely regretting my lack of aero on this one. <laughs> that being said, I don't even know if that would have done enough. It might have done, to be honest. I thought we could get away without needing it on this car. I was sorely, sorely wrong. I mean, even the Clio with aero there is having a really bad time. And we will round the final corner. The Integra slides and hits the wall. It looks like the MG might get on the podium. We'll have to wait and see how accurate that is. Um, but yeah, dear God, that is not a nice car to drive. That's, uh, <laughs> that is snappy and sketchy. Uh, it will be the Scirocco that claims a victory, and it is miles quicker than the rest of us. I, if we got the lap together, we weren't too bad, uh, but yeah. <laughs> we were kind of in the midfield. We were very mid-pack sort of a car in that one. Scirocco claims victory. The Renault survived in second, and Glisco would get the MG on to the podium. Now things are going to, I think, get quite ridiculous, certainly for the little Renault. We head to the all-wheel drive section of this, and you will notice some things have happened to the PI of the cars. It's all got quite silly. I mean, the mid-pack, the majority of the pack is still fairly normal. The <laughs> Renault, remember, these are exactly the same cars that ran in the first race. It's front-wheel drive, barring the drive lines. There's an S2-class Renault that is going to be an absolute rocket ship. The CRX is almost S2 class. The Integra is also very high PI. Um, whether they're going to be controllable or not is a whole nother story. But yeah, we shall see. I actually feel much better as an all-wheel drive car. I mean, we are going to absolutely monster our way alongside the Integra. It will probably be quicker and it has consistently been quicker than us in a straight line. Uh, the Scirocco, I mean, it was very good rear wheel. It was untouchable rear wheel drive. I suspect it'll continue to be strong all wheel drive. Uh, it is going to get alongside. I don't know if I have the speeds to fight that particularly. Uh, so maybe just don't do something dumb and have an accident. It's just got too much grip for me, that one. Uh, we will. I mean, we might have. Oh, some lag from the Integra. Don't know what's happened to that. We might have the grip to deal with the CRX briefly, but the thing is now the CR that CRX has got the traction to deal with its pass. I say that, is it understeer? Oh, it's understeer, really? <laughs> I've never seen a car understeer into that wall before. That is a first. That is an absolute first. Uh, we are going to get the Mini past the Scirocco briefly. I think it's going to fight back. Oh, God, because that understeer there is chronic. Uh, we're going to have to have a lift on the way through there. But we know we can beat the Scirocco for top end. I mean, the Renault's absolutely buggered off. It's just vanished at the front. We know we've got the top end on that Scirocco, and that is the one plus point I have without having the aero on my car, is that, uh, yeah, when we get to the top speed portion of this track, we do have an advantage, but this portion of the track we suck at, as is being demonstrated by the Scirocco from a long way back, not really needing to do all that much, and it will find a way past. Um... That's not ideal. Uh, I think Chris is in another postcode with that CRX, and I don't know where Speed Beast's Integra's had a bad time as well. Um, yeah, the CRX is buried. <laughs> yeah, that is some serious understeer. We're catching the Scirocco, but it's not going to be enough this time around to have a fight back. I think it is just a smidge too fast for it. It's got too much grip in these corners. I just don't have an answer. We are definitely way better as an all-wheel drive machine. They said the Scirocco's got itself in trouble. The thing is, even if I draw alongside here, the last thing in the world I want to do is have a dive on that car. I don't really want to be looking for a... Uh, I'm not going to go side by... I don't want to go side by side through here because we're going to be really out of position for this chicane. And nope. 
seeing the lack of grip we have is just, yeah. <laughs> it's, oh, I didn't even think I was being that silly. We're out of position on the way in, but I didn't think we were being that ridiculous. I just do not have the grip in the Mini to be fighting with these cars. I don't have the acceleration of the Escort, to be fair. The, or so, Galiska's MG actually hasn't really gained much PI from being all-wheel drive. Traction was never the problem with that car. It's this lack of straight line speed because of all the drag. So that, that MG will be very, very fast in a couple of places here and then be really slow down the straights. Um, yeah, this will probably be a better track for me in relative terms to that car, for an example. The Carada, it's not really catching either at the moment. Uh, this is completely not what I was expecting with my vehicle here at all. My, my expectations were front wheel drive would be the strongest sort of class for the Mini. I uh, did not expect it to be great anywhere else and all wheel drive way, way better in, in relative terms to the cars that, uh, that we are up against. In relative terms this is far, far better um, as, the, as the all wheel drive. I think the Scirocco I mean, okay, the, the the Renault is silly here. I mean, we always knew it was going to be an absolute mad car. Um, at, <laughs> at this, it's so much higher PI than everything. Uh, but at A-Class, of course, it's always going to be just an undrivable mess. Um, the Scirocco, though, has been very strong everywhere. That thing has been phenomenal with whatever restrictions have been asked of it. And honestly, most of us have barely had an answer for it. Uh, we tr we tried here. We 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 fought back down one straight as about as much as we could do, and then trying to even remotely live with it through the corners, it got the better of us. We're closer match to the escort. Whoa, no, bad times are going on through there. Um, this is it's still it's, even as all wheel drive. This is still sketchy. This is still a sketchy, sketchy car. Uh, it still wants to snap sideways. It still wants to get in trouble got to be really mindful one more time around one more time around with this uh, i mean actually the lap time for us why is not great <laughs> it's not it's not great uh lap time wise i have a class cars that will lap quicker than this uh, around here oh essentially this is an a class car in, in some ways um but yeah it's not it's not fast enough quite but we are quicker others are also struggling there's a, a lot of cars a lot of cars I didn't expect to struggle have had surprising struggles as all-wheel drive um, I mean yeah we had an all right start we had a nice spot on the grid of course but uh, nothing's really caught us very much the Renault's done a finish already and is going to DNF the majority of the field I don't even think we're going to finish and we're in fourth third place may not may struggle to finish at this uh, at this rate and Pega should um. Oh, it's a shame we didn't really get to see. Oh, Impaga does finish. It's a shame we didn't really get to see the Renault. Oh, come on, Mini, you can do it. Oh, I don't know whether that actually counted or whether we got dumped. I mean, we've been loaded backwards on the grid. I think we got dumped from that one. And oh, we were right there. Yeah, I mean, we, we could... We, the, the Renault's silly. The Scirocco was quick. The, um... Uh, what's it called? Whatever it was, um... Was... <laughs> Scirocco was quick. The Escort was quick. We had some half-decent pace, to be honest with you, in that we, we were reasonably fast um, around there. It was definitely a lot more controllable as an all-wheel drive. It's still sketchy as anything. My lack of aero was a cons was a problem. Uh, although I have got away with, you know, front-wheel drive A-class cars without aero sometimes. Um, certainly rear-wheel drive ones I got away with plenty. But uh, yeah, it's it threw up some interesting results. That is for sure. It is throwing up some very interesting results uh, with this. Mini, maybe not quite as good for this with the with the way that the way that I've gone with it. Um, but we had some fun races along the way. We watched some fun races, and the Renault was very stupid, which is kind of what we expected. But there we go. Uh, Scirocco, I think, is very much the winner overall on this one. That was just fast, very fast everywhere. That is going to be it for this uh, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye.